you guys, and of course, as always, welcome back to another Pokemon Wi Fi battle, which is really, of course, the Scarender. And uh, yeah, today we're going to go against a very good friend of mine named Professor No Good. So, before you do anything else, make sure to check out his channel. Uh, it's going to be linked down below. He mainly focuses on Battle Mansion, but do started actually i should say doing the smoke on tears and I actually battled before where he ruined me and OU, which clearly as you guys know OU is not my thing so you you seems better for me and definitely with the team i have in mind i see i have a some small um perk here towards him to be completely honest now from the get-go here we can see from his team here that we have ribambi Relicify form of Lycan Rock, uh, Alolan Muck, Latias, Mega, Pidgeot most likely, and Crawdont. So straight on that is here, this definitely looks like a stick web team since Rubombi does get that. And not surprised they tried to capitalize on that. So very, very interesting. And as stated before, kind of scary to be completely honest. But as stated, my team here is definitely on par here. I definitely said I have the stronger team for the matchup alone. We have Mega Manatric, which of course outspeed everything on his team, barring possible scoffers. Alolan Mark, myself, Specs, Primarina, Zarina with Rapid Spin, fully defensive, Scissor with uh, Soul Sands, Bullet Punch, Quick Attack, and Terrakion with Rocky MC. So overall here, I felt that his best lead is probably going to be Rebombi, and if so, it's going to be Sashed. So my best way of tackling would be to go to my Netcrick straight on either basically to uh, get a proper Vault Switch from the get-go, and just from there basically um, decide how to tackle the team. So really, with all this said, let's of course go into the match. Uh, all I should say is that he will use the Lycan Rock C move. I will block the screen for that very instance, as it's copyrighted. Uh, it's basically a way for me to kind of avoid um, any kind of issues, basically. So he leads off Rebombi. That basically says one thing, and that's of course that yes, this is going to be Sticker Web. And while I could go for Overheat, these Mogul usually carry the likes of, um, of Sash. So I felt that. If I go for Overheat or Thunderbolt and it's like that and then go for Volt Switch, I feel redundant. So my easiest way of actually just going about it was actually just go for Volt Switch. If it's something weird like, um, what do you call it, um, um, what do you call it, can't remember, uh, Quiver Dance said I was able to actually fend that off. But Arshul is of course my Lola Muck, can do everything against this Pokemon no matter what. As we see the stick web and let's say let's Quarize since we can tackle this team easily even with this in mind so he's actually gonna go for a moon blast here and yeah i'll say that does some fair amount of damage but definitely isn't too bad as we can easily fend off here and just keep on going at it i kind of realized that my screen is covered by that emblem isn't it i'll fix this in the next upload so anyway he's gonna lean on he'll send his like rock here and um, we are doing fine i felt that my easiest switch in here would be scissor though i did consider um, my uh, Terrakion, but didn't necessarily go for it. Um, and I kind of felt redundant here. The CC, of course, is going to go for a C move. And of course, I stated we're going to block that out. But I can just tell you guys one thing. Uh, what this basically means towards us is that we can't take this hit that well. And it will roughly do, uh, I do believe, 95% on my sister since it's not defensive at all. And um, that's not a good thing. I kind of like to talk throughout this move that is going around, though we don't get, you don't see anything. So anyway, as stated, you know, attacks are going on. I'm feeling really dumb. As uh, yeah, I think from here it should be fine. So yeah. Anyway, it does bring me down to 11 HP, and I went for a um, bullet punch here, but of course he has sucker punch. So that combination takes off my scissor, and that is really, really, really tough. So I'm gonna bring Balissa here and just go for the safe rapid spin since there's no way he's gonna stay in. And I need to get those stick webs out of the way since so clearly that ruined my scissor, and that's not good. That's not good at all. So he brings in Latius and um, Rapid Spin is not gonna do anything. I felt safe standing there since I am defensive. As we see leftovers, so this is more likely a bulkier set and uh, since I have accessibility to knockoff, I should be able to do a very, very heavy chunk. But he's actually going to switch out and go to his muck. And uh, this could be potentially dangerous. Knockoff will do a fair amount of damage here. 
but definitely is not an area where I would say the high jump kick would secure a KO. So with that in mind, yeah, I kind of need to get out. So my best switch in here is to bring my Byros, which is my mana trick. Get Intimidation now going on. And since it's no longer a Salt Vest, Volt Switch should do a decent chunk. Now he'll go for a Gunk Shot, which I felt was really, 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 really interesting. Uh, and it's definitely an area where another Gunk Shot will tell me out, but so will Knockoffs. So with that in mind, I decided let's go for a Volt Switch and bring in my Pre Marina because what that means is I can easily KO with a Moonblast, seeing that it's more likely he will go for a Knockoff, right? Well, that is not what happened. He goes for another Gunk Shot, but he misses. And this is a very good for us because that this means that we get some very, very, what I would say, unfair momentum here. Because that's the truth. That's a god and proof, if anything. Definitely shouldn't getting that play to my advantage as we easily knock out, of course, the pre Marina. Now, here comes, of course, the Mega Monster Pidgeot. Now, I am not the one who really want to take a Hurricane. And I can easily bring Arcel and get some damage going on as uh, he's going to go for Mega Wall. I mean, there is no really going around it. It's going to be the Jesus Bird, the monster that is Pidgeot. And quite frankly, from here on out, all I really can do is take hits and retaliate. And Hurricane will do a very, very good chunk because it's a crit. It would have been a 2 hit kill anyway, but that really did stun. And of course, another Hurricane. Luckily for us, do not get a crit, so we do survive it. Unfortunately, however, uh, he would get the confusion. How do I am luckily to break through? And Ice Punch is my move I, I actually went for. Uh, I think Poison Jab would have been a stronger move overall, but hey, what can you do? Uh, so anyway, I need to sack Muck here. Probably wasn't my strongest overall play, actually, thinking about it. Um, Thrakia would probably have been a better play overall, but hey, you do what you can. Of course, since Hurricane Spam was a thing, my manager would even there have been a smarter choice. So, yet again here, all I really can do is go for Volt Switch, basically get my momentum going on, since it's definitely going to switch out. Not going to sack Pidgeot, since it's one of the win cons, if anything. So, Ladias comes in, and I felt from here on out that this this could be quite right. I was considering bringing Track on here just to get to see move and get the damage, but decided that I should easily Oko with my Prima Rigna towards this Pokemon. Even if it is defensive, I should be fine. Um... Or at least so I thought, as he'll go for a Thunderbolt, it will do roughly 40% on me, it isn't too shabby. And I'm still in an area where I can take on the Crobominal, uh, or the, the Crawdont. Uh, but the Moonblast will just be shy of a KO, unfortunately. Uh, and I was considering whether or not I should switch in my Manetric here and get the denting damage going on, but decided against it. Which probably wasn't the best choice, as it goes on the Thunderbolt and gets a crit here, and this will actually knock out Evelyn. And yeah, that kind of stings because this means that Crawdaunt is a lot scarier now than it needs to be. And is aware if I can tackle that or not. So my main switch in here is of course Byros, my Venetric. Even though I know it's offensive and tracking without speed, I feel that this would be my overall better lead way towards the Pokemon he could bring in. Uh, so Hidden Power Ice, you know, whack, and that's gone. And his two remaining Pokemon is Crawdaunt and... Um, no, actually three. Crawdont, um, Verlicify, and <laughs> Mega Pidgeot. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I decided to switch out because he brings Crawdont. I was definitely feeling he's going to go for an Aqua Jet, though it would be balls as all hell if it goes what I, what, you, what he did decide to do, which is Dragon Dance. That's a very, very, very ballsy move, and quite frankly, that is a very decisive play because he will go for a knockoff here, and it's actually it's a 50-50 if he knocks me out, but... He will get a crit here, which definitely decides the game, and this also means that Professor Nogod will win this game. Quite frankly, I just I couldn't push this any further. I'll start to just go for differential here, which is bringing it down to neutral, so Terrakion can survive an Aqua Jet. But from here on out, yeah, this is no way we're gonna win this game. And looking back at it, you know, I'm I definitely didn't feel that this was too tough or anything like that. I definitely enjoyed this game. And I think looking back at it, I should definitely have used my matchup a lot better than I decided to do. And definitely do some more defensive plays. Sometimes, you know, I don't have them in me. That is, that I'd rather go for defensive play and try to gain momentum out of that. But since actually my opponent here, Professor Nogo, decided to do the same, it ended up being a matchup that he eventually did win. And definitely the Dragon Dance play here is something that really, really pushed the boundary. And I really, really can't appreciate it more. 
while the crit is unfortunate against this arena since it is a 50-50 I definitely will say this that you know for what it's worth it still came down to a rather close game you know of course even now if I knock off Krabominal with my um, Dracum before that as long as my Nedrick is active, I can't win this matchup whatsoever so um, back on that I should probably not have said Primarina nor my um, Zarina like that, and definitely should have put Brenda Bolsier playing just Wall Street in front of the Crodon, since that was the only way of actually winning. But through and through, I was happy with this game. I definitely had a lot of fun against Prof. Person No Good. Like I said before, never battle him like for real in a smoke and tears. And being in UU, where I do not do it, like I, I'm not that dominant of a force, and knowing that Professor No Good is not the same, really made this game a lot more interesting because we. Basically, we're trying to uh, what they call it, offensively maneuver against one another through and through, and I felt the interest of the game was very high due to that very reason alone. So, I guess um, in hindsight, yeah, I probably shouldn't have lost this game, uh, but it has mainly to do with that I've decided to play the offensive play over the defensive play, and I think if I played defensively, I have, would have done a lot better. Then at the same time, I think also that my opponent here did. The tough place to decide the game so I think he had the stronger level head throughout this game and by default definitely deserved to win that like I said it's Dragon Dance there and um, they're like a rock sea move against my sister yeah there are a lot of factors here but I think he definitely did very well and overall did a very smart play throughout the game to not be swept by my offensive threats so overall my good friend Professor No Good thank you of course so much for the game it was a real blast and a lot of fun here Make sure you guys, of course, check him out. And for everybody else watching, thank you for doing your so. I hope you enjoy this content. Um, definitely are not as well rounded in post narration at the moment, due to, of course, a few other factors in my life right now, like having a baby. Gee, that, that kid is supposed to like come out any day now. Really can't wait. Uh, so, anyway, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care.